Hey guys, I'm Grant Owens from We Found New Music. We're thrilled to be joined by Nick Field and Sam Garfield, the owners of Black Rose, a brand new venue in Los Feliz that we're excited to be collaborating with. And welcome to the show, you guys. Yes, thank, thank you, you for you so having much. us. Yes, yeah. we are excited. Uh, let's get into it, of course. Black Rose, let's start with how did Black Rose come to be? Talk about the dream behind owning a venue. Yeah. Well... Mm-hmm. It started almost, um, I lived in New York for a while and I was putting on um, an art show called Vital and I had Sam and his sister out to perform as the part of the live music of the submissions. We were getting like artists and painters and um, pretty much like fashion designers and everything. I rented out a space, a bar, and he came and performed and then there was basically a full art gallery of all artists and then that kind of sparked both of our brains a little bit. Yeah, it was a really, really, really cool event. It was essentially like a collaborative, collective experience that Nick had come up with that included things from, you know, fashion, art, you know, visual artists. Me uh, me and my sister have a band called Lexington Kills. He brought us out to perform, DJs involved, you know, all of that. And it really was a kind of cool way to see how these different mediums of art could come together and create this singular event, but all work very cohesively and like collectively with it. Um, And that's kind of really when Nick began to talk to me about taking it farther than that because of the success of that event and seeing how it could become something bigger than just this kind of pop-up idea of a collective art event. Above all, it's through passion and and seeing that you guys have a shared passion for uh, putting something very special together like this. And I felt that right away as we brought We Found You Music into the room. And um, it's our new space. We are doing We Found You Music every Tuesday and Thursday at Black Rose in Los Feliz. And all you have to do is go to WeFoundYouMusic.com to check out all of the different events that we're doing. And we're doing as much as we can together to make this the spot for music discovery really yeah. worldwide. You know, really. you, you could be in London, you come to LA for a few days, come discover your new favorite band yeah. at We Found Your Music at Black Rose. Absolutely. So. You know, we want it to be that creative hub and, you know, especially being a music producer who works in a lot with like artist development, your kind of platform specifically and having mm-hmm. a emerging artist platform is something like very, very, very near and dear to my heart. And me and Nick have shared this same feeling for a long time. So when we met you and were able to kind of partner up on this, it was just like the whole world began to open a lot more. Right. We, we all have that shared passion. I knew as soon as I met you, like this was the right place to move. We found you music too, because I mean, you're kind of already building other nights around music discovery, new artists and multiple genres. And I guess if you want to get into it, uh, but I guess first let's, let's go in order. Um, What kind of music shows are you hosting and uh, what's the best night to come through? Well, the best night to come through is every night that we're open. (laughs) Um, (laughs) That's um, right. We do have a, we have a lot of cool stuff coming up. I mean, we've already tested the water from, you know, things from cabaret and burlesque performances to these emerging artist platforms, which have every kind of genre we have, um, you know, we're in the works for doing different dance centered nights for choreographers in the dance community as well. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and we love doing things like we just did um, the Clay album release yeah. together as well. And that was really cool because I would love our space to be utilized for those kind of EP and album releases because it's yeah. built for that. I think it's important to know that we have a full uh, stage and 40 channel mixer, lights, haze. We can do anything. anything. LED wall. We have yeah. it yeah. all. And yeah. like <laughs> what was cool about the Clay show, it was her EP release show and she had a vision it was a flower themed show. So she brought in, what do you call it? A bouquet. Yeah, um, it was basically like a mock mini field that she built. And one of the things I love about the space is that because of its black aesthetic and the way that it's designed, mm-hmm. you can really take the space and transform it into what you want. And she was the first person I got to see really utilize that ability to do that with the space. Yeah, it's a canvas for your own vision. And she really went there. Yeah. And everybody it beautiful. loved it. Yeah. But what's so great is, you know, everybody kind of had the same experience. It's such a, a beautiful, large room. Everyone has a similar view of what is being created. Everyone's part of it. You know, yeah. there's no second room. Everybody's part of the same experience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it is. It's, it's the way the room is built itself with the stage and the setup of it. No matter where you are, you're part of the show, which is really cool. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so you kind of touched on it, but are you kind of accepting new talent and performers and kind of opening it to the community? Yeah, yes. we actually have on our website, blackrosela.com, a submissions tab where you can submit your art of any kind, whether it's music or painters. We've had a couple of photographers. Wow. We've had um, obviously a lot of singer songwriters and bands and DJs and mm -hmm. things like that. So we get those submissions and, and that is something that we're very proud of because we do want to open the space for more than just music, but for all artists, dancers, singers, musicians, painters, anything in yeah, the arts. Yeah. I don't know if we kind of touched on it, but what about what is the message of Black Rose and what do you stand for? We might have touched on that. Yeah, like we kind of did. But basically what we are, like our mission statement is kind of to, you know, elaborate on what Nick just said. It's we are we want to be a creative hub for artists in general. We I always say, I don't care what you do. Just be really good at it. You know, like that's kind of the standard of what I want. I want. I don't care if you're a, if you're a rock band, if yeah. you um, are playing world music and you do instruments of, you know, any kind. I just want to see these different things on the stage at a very high quality and standard. Um, but we are open to all of it, and we are here for the community and Los Angeles specifically to really build up this live entertainment back, especially after it's been so hit so hard for the past Absolutely. couple of years. I mean, you're open to the world of the best musicians in the world, but LA specifically yes. and, and uh, enhancing the community, kind of bringing um, support for uh, the artistic community in and out of LA. Right. And I mean, that's important because you're an artist yourself Nick, you're an artist, but you're also a photographer. Yes. Tell, tell us more about what, what you dabble <laughs> so in. I, I, come, um, I grew up as a dancer, trained okay. dancer, um, which transitioned into dance photography. Um, always ha had a passion for music as well, obviously, and the arts. Um, have a little bit of everything in the arts industry, but um, I'm, I'm a trained dancer, so I bring the choreography side to Black Rose with the dance connections and the shows and things like that. Mm -hmm. And Sam is obviously an incredible producer and singer songwriter himself. And like between the both of us, yes. I mean, there's really no. Um, yes, but we're <laughs> we're 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 having a, a blast, kind of um, merging the different uh, types of art. We're gonna get a little dance in there through the people that you've been working with directly, musicians that you've been producing, you've been writing songs collaborative with. Yeah. Um, bringing me in to bring a lot of mutual artists that we've been supporting for years, right. but a actually giving them the platform right. to to bring in an audience and share their art. Right. And that's what you want to do with right. the space. But that's really important because it's a, it's a community space run by artists for artists. Exactly. Yes. And not every venue is like that in Los Angeles. Definitely not. It's going to be more about ticket sales, and especially, you know, just most most rooms are more about that than the art and that's what we first and foremost are trying but of course it's challenging what's the hardest part about opening a new business well to basically touching on exactly what you just said it's being a venue that is really putting art at the forefront because many venues really do focus on the money behind it and even though we need to be able to sustain and make money and want to be able to make this profitable we want to keep the art at the forefront of it and that Absolutely. becomes the challenge between how do we balance making a space that is for artists by artists and is pushing art at the forefront, but still make sure that it can sustain and be something that works and is profitable? That's right. And so, but Black Rose, that's why, you know, we're always, you know, looking for people to collaborate with and investors and stuff, because it's really more of a collaborative, like, community art right. space right and that's for artists by artists right. which is, so it's <laughs> which is why the community is so important for us yes. that support and having the people here them knowing about us and them coming to the shows them mm -hmm. giving us these submissions for all of it that's why it's so important for us and it's right in the heart of los Feliz, such a beautiful neighborhood yeah. that i think the artist community grew up, you know, going to shows in that area and enjoying the little shops and vintage shops and bars. And it's just such a cool spot. 1714 North Vermont. And yeah, it was formerly the Rockwell, which is a very, very big staple of the East L.A. community. I mean, I grew up going there even before I was 21 seeing shows. I mean, I saw Ariana Grande perform there before she was really Ariana that we know now. I saw so many Broadway performers and it's 
already comes with so much history, has a really rich history of a space. And so it was very like much an honor and very nostalgic when we were able to take it over and get keys yeah. for it. It's all passion oriented. That's why I'm with you as well, because we found music has always been about the artists that we're passionate about right. and who we showcase. And you've already seen it. We've only done two shows together, but you've always you've already seen the true yes. talent that we're bringing to the stage. Yeah, I was overjoyed when me and you finally met and were able to establish that relationship for you to come on board with us, because mm -hmm. I've always been such a fan of what your platform has done in pushing these amazing artists and talent that deserve to be heard and seen. Thank you. And like right here at Dash Radio, we did Billie Eilish's first interview right. at 14 years old. You know, we are bringing that level of talent into your room yep. at Black Rose. So any Tuesday or Thursday, come at seven o'clock and discover one of your favorite new bands. I was going to say that we are going to, well, first of all, we're doing uh, 19 and use first show ever on the 18th of May. That's really special. Uh, there was three V method who we've been collaborating with. They also, we also yeah. did the clay uh, showcase with them. What a cool group. Oh, great. They are, they are awesome. Everybody I've met from that team is yeah. just truly a proper stand up kind of person that I would like to do more with. And I love oh, they're in it for the right reason. Right. Cause they're all managing these artists. They're not signed yet. They're, you know, looking to showcase and kind of find that special next step in their career. And they're doing it with us. Yeah. With, and 19 and you is going to be, there's going to be people flying in for that show. So that's what we're able to create. Yeah. And it's a big enough space where they can invite the entire industry. No problem. Yeah. And that's not, you know, like at clay, we had people from Paramount. We had people from Wasserman all over the place just because they just wanted to discover the talent with no pressure. You know? right. So that's what we can provide. So then on the 19th, we're starting Thursdays at black yeah. Rose. And in, in fact, Coming up next, uh, we're at Dash Radio today. We're going to have the headliner, May May, come. She is going to perform for us. We're going to interview her. That's her first show she's playing with us at Black Rose, her first show ever. So cool. It's and amazing. then Andrew Watts has been on tour with Pitbull, yeah. and he's been collaborating with some other artists. So he's also playing. So we're bringing these incredibly creative people into this space. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's my pitch for We Found Music. <laughs> uh, at your soul. At your spot. I think... <laughs> I think collaboratively we're bringing some really exciting stuff into the space. I agree. And yeah, I mean, how about how much does it cost to get in? You know? Well, that varies. It varies, but right now we're pretty much cover free. We yeah. really want to be open arms to everyone and make sure that everyone is getting the opportunity to see these new artists and get to witness Black Rose in action and be able to network. It's also a very good very place for cool. artists to network right. with each other because artists need to stick together, yeah. and especially after being shut down for two years and not having a place to perform and not being able to perform in front of a crowd that it's huge for us to stick together right now and to have that place where you can meet new artists, see new artists, network with new artists, make connections, make your own personal connections. It's, it's huge. It's huge. So yeah, it really does depend on the night. We have stuck to a more open arm, no cover type thing to really get people in the space. Um, it does also depend on, you know, who the talent is we're bringing in or the curator. There are certain events that are ticketed. Um, but most of it right now has been very much on RSVP based type mm -hmm. of no cover show. Right, exactly. But we're still open to private events and a little bit of everything, yep. whatever we can do to stick around too. Exactly. Sustainability. Is yes. <laughs> but I definitely wanted to take some time to bring you in. Thank you so much. I'm sure we'll do this again as we continue to preview your calendar yeah. for the public yes. and, and get, get this on the radio waves. Uh, just another way to get people out. Yeah, absolutely. Come on out, everyone. Yes, we make see sure you. to follow our social media. We stay very updated on our events, um, what we have upcoming, um, photos and videos of previous events and it's a good place to follow just to make sure you're not missing out on anything yes you can, fi <laughs> you can find us at the black rose la on social media and you're always going to see sam at the venue he's the face of the venue <laughs> he's going to be up there so come say hi uh tell him about your artist project yes and we'll bring you in the room you know maybe you can even collaborate with us for a full lineup because yeah, that's what we're yeah. about. Yeah. That's what we found out about. That's what Black Rose is about. That's what Nick's about. Yes, sir. <laughs> the field. The field. <laughs> All right. Nick Field and Sam Garfield for Black Rose. We found a music on Dash Radio. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you at the venue. Yeah, thank, thank you very you much. Thank you so much. I'll see you there. <laughs>